so I think you all should have gotten a message saying it's being live streamed. We'll see how that works. Um, and then I'll start. Oops. Great. Let's see. We'll unmute. I mean, we'll un. Okay. Um, so hi everybody. Ding ding. Sorry, it's my alarm bells in my head. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to share my screen real fast. I'll go through a little bit about us, about the school, stuff like that. Um, so welcome. Um, you're at the We Believe in Comics Friday Night Workshop that we took over from The Believer, whom we love. And that's really, um, it's just active generosity that they sort of let us sort of move on in and take it over when they sort of stop doing it. I really, really appreciate that. We love the community that they created in doing this, especially during the beginning and most intense parts of the pandemic. Um, so if you haven't been here before, we're a 501c3 nonprofit. We have lots of online courses. Um, you can find them at learn.sawcomics.org or just sawcomics.org. Um, here's some things coming up. Um, next week's Friday night workshop is with Ashanti Fortson. And um, uh, I don't know what she's going to be teaching, actually. Um, uh, we have a mentoring group with uh, Leela Corman in April coming up. And our six-month graphic novel program starts in June. Um, but it's worth thinking about now. Um, it's pretty great. Some ongoing things always are open for you. The Soft Flow and Publish group, the Graphic Memoir and Medicine group. Um, you get free courses along with those, uh, including these four. Here's a quick screenshot of the graphic novel program that starts June 1st. Um, I'll zoom in. Uh, if you want to join Sawflow and publish, um, you can take a look at some of the things we've published in the past. We, and we're publishing a new book in a couple months with your work if you're in the group. Um, anyway, social uh, media. We love to tag these Friday Night Comics. And um, it's been really groovy. Uh, if I can use that word still, to go online Friday nights and see who's tagging because um, it gets pretty active and it's been really great just seeing everybody showing stuff. We are at Comics Workshop. You can tag us. Um, I assume Dave will give you a Instagram handle or something if you want to tag him as well. But sometimes people are like, no, I'm not on Instagram. Uh, let's see. What else can we zoom through here? Um, you can donate because we are a nonprofit. Um, PayPal.me slash Comics Workshop this Patreon address. Um, you can also find us uh, at members.sawcomics.org. That's a great spot for sharing. Um, and I believe if you go there, you'll see a post Friday night workshop uh, event happening um, every Friday hosted by Susan, um, Susan Marks, who's here and, and she can post about that in the, in the chat. And I'll post more about what I'm saying in the chat as well. Okay. No, appropriate, no inappropriate speech or imagery. We got burned our first time, but never again. But still, let's, let's, um, let's be civil um, and enjoy. The last thing we like to say that if, is if you're coming from Eventbrite and you're opening in the Eventbrite browser, there might be some limitations such as um, not being able to raise your hand and you might find some other things. And um, so if you open in Zoom using this link here, you might find it a little bit easier, but usually if you're having trouble, you can get some help in the chat. Um, all right, so um, I'll stop sharing. Let's see, did that work? And um, um, Dave, you have a new book out, which I hope you will tell us about, but I also want you to do anything you darn well wish. So. Um, have a blast. I'm going to turn off my video and audio, but I'll be here. And when it's time to share, I'll pop back on and, and help out everybody. But if you need to reach me, reach me in the chat, because this is Dave's show. Thanks, Dave, for being here. All right. Thank you, Tom. Uh, that, was, that was a lot of really great information. Um, so, hey, everybody, I am Dave Ortega. I'm a cartoonist. I live near Boston. Uh, I'm in Somerville, Massachusetts, and I do have a book out that came out last last week, um, Dias de Consuelo, um, and it's about my grandmother. Uh, I wrote about, uh, about her early life in Mexico uh, during the Mexican Revolution, 
uh, involved a, a, a lot of research on my part and a lot of uh, listening to uh, her, her stories. So getting, getting that history from her, filling in the gaps with uh, uh, research about what was going on in the country at the time. Um, and the, the, the first question that usually comes up with that is, uh, did, did, she, did she read it? Did she um, know about it? And yes, yeah, she, I serialized it in six issues first and she was able to see the first four issues um, and she loved it. She loved uh, that somebody was, was uh, writing and drawing about her life, that somebody thought it interesting enough. So when, uh, when Tom asked me to um, uh, come up with an idea for a workshop, I thought, well, why not make it about uh, drawing comics about family? Um, and this is, this is her, by the way, uh, her and me a few years back. Um, she, did, she did pass away. Yeah, she passed away at the ripe age of 104. Um, so I'm hoping those genes stick with my family, <laughs> with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, 104. <laughs> um, so I, I, I also teach comics at Lesley University in Cambridge, um, and I'm, I'm kind of a big believer in um, the, the way that uh, the power of doodles um, with, with uh, initially coming up with an idea and the power of uh, unearthing uh, memories and a lot of the, the, the writing, like the pedagogical writing from uh, Linda Berry and from Ivan Brunetti really influenced my, my early classes. So I, I thought it might be kind of nice to start off maybe, maybe doodling about the, uh, the family member that you'd be uh, wanting to write your story about. Um, and you know you don't you don't necessarily need to 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 doodle for a certain amount of minutes, but uh, you know the the Ivan Brunetti method suggests that you know the the shorter your doodles are, the closer they are to uh, the language of cartooning. So you know if you're if you're spending five minutes on a doodle, maybe get it down to like a minute. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw out some doodles, uh, you know, uh, uh, that are of my my grandmother because I I want to write. Uh, I, I, in this workshop, I'll be writing and drawing about her. And forgive my challenges with uh, <laughs> with holding the easel this way. Um, I don't normally sketch with a Sharpie also. Um, so let's see. I usually, when I start off, I usually start off with the eyes. I'm sure that's the, the case with, with everyone else. Um, Although interestingly enough, I didn't start off with the eyes this time. I, I started off with the head. Um, she always had this interesting hair that fanned out um, also. Yeah, and then maybe I will do maybe a simpler version of this. You know, getting getting simple shapes down also for for um, a really quick exercise like this can be can be kind of fun. Reducing things to shapes. This is definitely of the Ivan Bernetti style of doodle here. She always wore this lo these long dresses and an apron. I would probably refine that. I wouldn't make that my my final design, but this is this is a good this is a good place. Um, I'm gonna keep going with it. Just just a few more of these, just to loosen up. Doodles are a great way to to loosen up as you're developing a project, get ideas going. I saw. I also want to include myself as a character in or I may want to in, in this particular comic that I'll be writing. Yeah, this one's, this one's uh, she has a thinner neck here. I think she has kind of a weightlifter's neck there. So I'm glad I fixed that with this doodle. I think of the three, I think I like this one the best and probably I'll be working, working somewhere in, in that range for this particular comic. And then maybe I'll throw in a doodle of, of myself. I 
as a younger man, I had hair. That photo is evidence that I once had hair. <laughs> I always sported t-shirts and I went through a bad fashion phase, but that's, I think I'll spare you drawing that. Yeah. So I feel, I feel sufficiently warmed up. Um, and I can't wait to see these when we start sharing a little later. So as I was as I was thinking about um, yeah so you can see these are these are kind of <laughs> thank you uh, Priya for the compliment about my hair um, so uh, you know the doodles are are fairly loose uh, fairly cartoony you know and they're a good starting place especially early on as you're developing something so you know keep them keep them loose uh, keep them fun keep them cartoony um, you know and and you know eventually if you're refining this into uh, uh, like a graphic novel project or a longer term project, something you're definitely going to spend some time on, then, you know, you'll figure out your style. But, you know, for the purposes of this exercise, maybe um, keep it loose. Um, so uh, I was I was thinking about like what sort of parameters to put in place for the story for this exercise. And I was thinking um, that uh, for better or worse, um, you know, there, there are a lot of memories around TV and family. And so uh, I'm a big fan of, like I, like I noted, Linda Berry's kind of associative memory exercises in, in kind of unearthing things to write about. Uh, and I would say, uh, you know, that, I, that, that making this exercise about uh, TV and a particular family member, like memories around that. So if you just wanna make a list of, of maybe like three memories uh, that you can associate with the family member that you wanna write about, and TV. Um, and if you didn't own a TV, if you're one of one of those families, <laughs> um, then uh, then, you know, then there, there's probably something to write about that. Um, yeah. So thank you, Tom. Yeah. Tam, Tom put it in the chat. So memories around TV. Um, and I know. Yeah, I know I have some memories around TV. TV was a definite presence in in my household so maybe just spend you know this next minute um just listing a few memories that that come to mind the first things off of the top of your head we are writing we are writing right now and then we'll get to we'll jump right into drawing listing slash writing yes Okay, and if you feel like you have a really strong memory um, in the ones that you've listed, uh, circle that one, and that's the one you'll be working with tonight. Um, the one that you think that, that you could write most about. Um, and again, gotta credit Linda Berry for this. Um, if, you, if you're ready to go, we'll just jump in with this sort of listing exercise. Again, this is writing, we're not drawing yet. Um, this will just kind of help us as we unearth these memories so that we can begin to draw about them um, as opposed to just jumping in and drawing about them where, where our, our brain is kind of competing for information maybe. Um, so bring up this memory in the idea that you circled and that you wanna go with uh, and uh, write down um, who, who's with you in this memory. Just make a list of who's with you. And then the, the next item, uh, where are you? Yeah, and if you get lost, check out the, um, the chat. Tom is, is listing the questions after I, uh, after I give them to you here. Um, and then uh, what time of day is it? She typically asks, are you indoors or outdoors? I assume that if it's a TV related um, uh, memory that you're probably indoors. So we'll, we'll skip that one. Um, what season is it? Yeah, 
Let's see. So yeah, the question so far, who is with you? Where are you and what time of day is it? And then I also said, uh, what, what season is it? And then this is a really good one that we, that uh, what smells, what does it smell like? I think smells and remembering smells can often um, uh, bring up recall memory for us. And then the last set of questions is, uh, are like, what's, what's to your left? What's to your right? What's in front of you? And you might've guessed what's behind you. <laughs> Um, and she recommends writing for eight minutes. I think for the interest of, of this, uh, for the next part, um, I think in the interest of, of truncating this particular exercise, um, we can, we can time this, this next part for, for four minutes. And if everybody's ready, you know, just on another piece of paper, maybe next to your list, somewhere where you have some room, um, start off with, I am. And then write in that in that tense like you're there, uh, four minutes just about this memory, and we're writing again. We're not drawing yet. So uh, so I got the timer going. Four minutes starts now. And I'm doing this along with you, in case you're wondering. So uh, we have about two more minutes left in this writing exercise. One more minute in this writing exercise.
Less than 30 seconds. All right, the last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, happy new year, everybody. <laughs> um, so I am gonna go ahead and I'll share mine. Um, and then uh, I'll go ahead and start drawing based on what I wrote. So I wrote, I am in my grandma's house with my cousins. Uh, we are watching a movie on the TV. Suddenly a sexy scene comes on and my grandmother flies in from the other room and fans her skirt across the screen to prevent us from seeing it. We react in shock at first and then laughter. She scolds us and periodically peeps uh, behind herself at the screen to see if the scene is over. The adults that were in the other room watch this take place and they laugh as well. So that's, that's my memory around television and my grandmother. <laughs> um, so I think uh, what I wanna do, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on these, these handy dandy little uh, index cards and it's like, these are fluorescent pink. So it looks like radioactive white for some reason on the screen. Um, you know, like I said, draw with what you have. Um, I was thinking, you know, maybe we could try to do uh, a six panel comic in the amount of time that we have. Um, you know, if you think you can maybe get, uh, depending on what your scene is and you need more, um, you know, more, more panels, more panels is more time uh, than, um, you know, bring it out to eight. So you can take a, a sheet of paper and fold it so that you have six panels uh, or eight panels. Um, or use handy index cards like, like myself here. Um, so I, I think the first thing that I wanna do is uh, set up an establishing shot. Um, so I want to maybe um, draw my grandmother's house for the first panel. So go ahead and start work on, you know, maybe what you want the first panel in this to be uh, based on your writing. Uh, where do you wanna start the story? You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be the start of your writing exercise but it could be the start of, you know, some place that, that, that makes sense. You know, if you think it, it needs to start before the, the, the incident that you wrote uh, begins, then start before then, um, you know, if it makes sense uh, for your story. So anyway, my grandmother's house is, um, it's beautiful. It's on tears, which is hard to imagine. Um, so she has this beautiful, like tr big tree. So that's supposed to be, and of course everything is in the realm of the doodle. So excuse my, excuse my drawings. Um, so this is street level here and I'm gonna throw in some cartoony looking cars. Maybe a trash can here. There's another tree there. Another tree there. And we all got together on, on Sundays. Um, you know, it wasn't necessarily a, uh, a big holiday that we would all be together at my grandmother's house. It was like this tradition uh, that a lot of Mexican American families in Texas where I grew up um, had, and they just uh, all got together on Sundays, uh, I think because life just kind of revolved around, um, you know, leisure time for uh, being able to not work on Sundays and then also uh, church. My family was and remains uh, very Catholic. Um, so this is kind of what my grandma's house looks like. There's like one tier there. And then there's a second tier with my, my grandpa Marcelo's garden. Uh, and then this will be the front door. And then I think I'm gonna do like a classic kind of uh, cartoon motif of, you know, something, you know, some uh, manga style rays coming out, like, like something's happening. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'll go back and, and add you know, something to indicate that there's some noise going on, just that the house is full. 
Uh, that's kind of one I would want, wanted to pick there. Yeah, I'm happy with that as kind of an establishing panel there. Um, so I'm going to move on. Put this down. I'll move on to what I think my second panel should be. And maybe it should be uh, the living room with uh, myself and my cousins kind of sitting around. So I'm going to just draw some some figures. We all had iced tea in our hands for whatever reason. <laughs> I remember a lot of iced tea. My Aunt Lena's sugary, sugary iced tea that she still makes. It's very, very sugary. So I'm wearing shorts and because it's very hot in El Paso. And this was likely in the summer, this memory. Um, yeah, and so all of us cousins were just kind of crammed. Just want to depict all of us on the couch. There was one couch, and you, you know, you were lucky if you got the couch because otherwise you had to sit on the uncomfortable floor. So I need to draw some people on the floor as well. Um, and then just to depict the TV in the foreground. that right there it's on its own little tv card and i just didn't need i get the the point of this particular panel is just to make sure that the that it looks full i need to depict how full this house was at this time um we probably got four cousins on this on this poor couch And I'm speeding up my drawing, and I gotta say that's that's helping. <laughs> if I think too much, um, and then maybe there's like a, a picture on the wall here. There's a, a door to my uncle Frank's and Aunt uh, Rita's room, and then I'll throw in I'll throw in one other person sitting on a couch over here. Just this was really really packed. Put a smiley face. Everybody's having a good time. Holding their sweet teas. I'm throwing a lamp there. All right, that's a that's a good. It's a good second panel, maybe. Everybody's sitting around watching the TV. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's a comment in the chat about um, uh, background information or looking up looking up references. Maybe um, you know that can be handy, like in the next step. But you know, drawing from memory has there's a value to that. So um, you know, don't get too bogged down in drawing and using reference material just yet. If if you can help it, if you're the type of person that really needs that, then definitely go for it. But um, yeah, uh, see, see, see how much you could draw from memory. So uh, I think because we had an establishing shot and then we had like a longer shot and I know I'm speaking in filmic terms but that's also the way that cartoonists speak. Um, that, uh, so now I need uh, some, like some sort of close up to direct the action. And so I'm gonna draw a, a cousin of mine maybe uh, drawing our attention to the TV, uh, to, uh, to what's going on on the TV. Um, so let's see which cousin should it be. This is this is gonna this isn't gonna be a specific cousin. <laughs> it's gonna be like an amalgam an amalgam of of uh, some of my male cousins.
maybe there's some some of those sweat lines coming off like whoa we're all about to get in trouble here <laughs> what should we say hey everybody look at the tv <laughs> All right, so I have some uh, some generic cousin here just saying, "Hey, everyone, look!" <laughs> I'll refine. You know, if this was something I was going to develop, I might refine the dialogue later. But it's all about getting it down, getting it down. All right, and then in the fourth panel, we'll actually see what's going on on the on the TV. So I have to somehow depict um, the movie that stands out in my head. Actually, it was a a parody of Top Gun. And I forget the name of the movie. Um, and there was just this this parody of like a uh, 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 hot shots. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> there was like a funny sex scene in it that that uh, my yeah that that came on. It's funny how you look back at those movies now and you're like, this is all completely inappropriate for for kids, and yet we just we watch them pretty casually <laughs> like i was thinking about that about gremlins like wow i saw gremlins uh or part of gremlins this this holiday and i was like wow this is this movie is nuts it's like baby's first horror movie um so let's see i'm doing a terrible job drawing the tv cart here And I just need to just depict the idea that something salacious is about to happen. Maybe, um, let's see. Maybe I'll just draw a woman in her bikini or something. And then I'll do a pretty like a, a David Heatley. David Heatley, he does these extreme close-ups from the side, um, which I've never done. So this this will be interesting. Um, wow, that's that's I can see why he does that. It's kind of fun. Um, And then maybe I'll, I'll frame it with another cousin here on this side, just to. Just to depict again, how crowded this room is. Um, okay, so that'll be my, that'll be my fourth panel. And I think I'm going for, geez, I may need to go for, uh, for eight. Well, let's see. So now at this point, I gotta I gotta draw my my grandma like leaping into action here. And so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna draw her leaping. Um, so here she is coming in. And she always had these like flowery moo moo type things. Um, and I don't know how how she had this gift just just knowing, you know, if something was going on, if something was up, she just knew. So here she is running towards the TV. And, and all of us are just sitting 
astounded at her athleticism. You know, um, there's something weird going on with the heating, the furnace. Um, I've noticed this several days ago, I forgot to tell you what. I, I turned the heat on in the morning. Oh, I think someone's mic is on. We got it, Dave. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So without, without going into two, just in the interest of time, I gotta shorten things up a bit. Let's see. Whoa, grandma. What an athlete. She's like, no. She's like, no. Shouting. <laughs> leaping towards the TV, <laughs> trying to protect our innocent eyes. So that was my panel five. And now the, the, main, the main image that's like lasered onto my brain is of her fanning, fanning her dress out um, over, over the TV. Um, oh, and uh, you can get Dias de Consuelo from the Radiator Comics website. Um, and Neil from Radiator Comics is in the group. Hi, Neil. Um, okay, so she is fanning her, her dress out. She's pretty pissed. She doesn't want her grandchildren to grow up to be reprobates. And then I'll do the, the David Heatley thing again. Um, and we're all, we're all laughing. <laughs> gave that poor, I gave that poor fella uh, an underbite there. I don't remember if my cousins had underbites. I know a few had overbites. I think the dialogue coming out of her will be, uh, uh, close your eyes, close your eyes, niños. We're all, ah, ha, 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 ha. all right. So that is one, two, three, four, five. This is my sixth panel. How are we doing for time? We're 36 minutes in from my watch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do two more. I think I can. I think I can wrap this up. I think I can wrap this up. Let's see. Um, so how can I wrap it up? Uh, so she's she'll. So all right. So I think what I want to do is I want to depict somehow. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, depict her looking back at the TV. To see if the scene. The offending scene is over yet. And then we're all just, we're just all laughing, having a great time. 
because at this point what's happening now is way better than than the what you know than the movie <laughs> Drawing a few of us on the couch here. Uh, and my grandmother. Uh, is it over yet? I'll draw a third cousin just to continue nailing the point home that this was a pretty crowded room. All of us crammed into my grandmother's living room. I gotta make sure I get her apron too. She was always, always cooking, always offering food, always cooking. So, so there's my, um, my next panel. She's looking back at the TV and we're all laughing. Is it over yet? <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be my seventh. All right, let's see if I can wrap this up in one more, one more panel. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll just do a close up of my grandma uh, to, let's see. Oh my God, your dad's last name was Ortega. Uh-oh, we might have a distant cousin of mine in, in this group. <laughs> um, I want to give my grandma in this story the final words. So let's see. Uh, gonna give uh she was she was so funny and uh like her timing what what was so funny about her was her it was it was unexpected she she would just have these like gems that would come out of the blue that that nobody anticipated um so now i'm under pressure to give her some funny dialogue um uh it's time for you all to go outside. Uh, I don't want you growing up to become Now there's a Spanish word. I'm not sure what the translation is, but it's like like pelangochas, which is like um, dirty people. <laughs> so I'll just I'll I'll stick it with uh, uh, um dirt. I'll stick with dirty people. That's kind of funny, right? I'd leave it in the Spanish. It's a great it's a great word. <laughs> I mean, right. you get the sense of it without knowing the translation. I'd leave I'd leave it in Perfect. Spanish. The people have spoken. All right. Just a few more, a few more wrinkle lines for my, for my grandma. All right. So that'll be, yeah, I got a close up of her and that's, that's how I'll, I'll wrap this, this up. So now, um, because of the miracle of um, post-it notes. I can stick all of these now onto a Bristol board and we can look at them 
as a comics page. Let's see. Give me one second as I do that. I gotta say, I can't wait to see these. <laughs> I can't wait to see everybody's. Moment, one moment. All right. And I think I got the generic posted notes because the adhesive isn't working too well, but we'll see. Let's see what we can see here. It's true about those generic post-it notes. There's a big difference. There is a big difference. Those uh -huh. 3M people, they know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hopefully this works. If not, I'll just show I'll just um show them to you one at a time again. Um so I have these all on a board like this, they might all fall off <laughs> just like that one did. All right, I'm going to just show them to you in sequence. My, my plan did not work. All right, panel seven fell into a vortex and I'm never going to see that again. All right, so there's my establishing shot, the outside of my grandmother's house. And then the in the next panel, we see uh, uh, all my cousins watching TV. And then uh, this generic cousin uh, says, hey, everyone, look. And then panel four, uh, extreme sexiness going on on the television that's, uh, that's making all those sweat lines pop on. pop on. And then my grandmother, no, she races in the room. And then she fans her dress across the TV screen. Close your eyes, Ninos, she says, and we're all laughing, having a great time. Um, oh, and then panel seven. Uh, is it over yet? She's peeking behind her to, uh, to check to see if the offending scene is over. And then it's time for you all to go outside. I don't want you to grow up to become pelangochas. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I mean, I would definitely take take this uh, work and and form it into a, form it into a uh, you know either develop it into a page or or turn it into a scene um, of several pages. Um, yeah, and I I would love to see what everybody else did. Um, so 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 Tom, how do we? Yeah, pelangochas. Remember the word. <laughs> hey, do this for me. Uh, raise your hand on the Zoom. And then we'll have other people raise their hand. The reason I have you do it as host is that sort of pushes you forward so people will see, see you. So can you see that in your reactions, Dave? You raise your own hand. Is that possible? Did you do it? Let's see. Oh, and so I raise my hand? Yeah, it just because it'll because otherwise you'll get lost in the shuffle of the grid. So at least oh, I see. Okay, raise, reactions, yeah. raise hand. Got it. Got it. Okay, so now we've got some people lined up that would love to share. And um, everybody, just so you know, Dave says we've got a hard stop at 8.15 because we've been going long lately. So let's just get right into it. Hanalore, we'll go to Hanalore, Mayra, Michelle out there, David, Jackie, Michael. Here we go. So I'm going to go to Hanalore. Um, okay, I'm here. There you go. I'll write, I'll read a little of what I wrote. Um, we only had a TV when grandma was living with us, and we always had to watch Lassie Rinton Tin and the Lone Ranger, and we watched beauty pageants. We didn't think it was sexist or exploitative to watch beauty pageants. It was a big deal. It seemed important. At some point, there would have to be a snack. Western egg sandwiches were a big favorite. I won't read the rest of it. <laughs> First is... Miss Universe, it's tonight. And we have a TV this month and Fudgy the dog is all ready and the beauty contestants in their bathing suits are already lining up. And my mom says, Gretchen Hanalore, daddy, because she always called my father daddy, even when we were all grown up. 
it's starting. And we're all sitting there saying, oh, she's pretty. I like Miss Venezuela. No, I like Miss Paraguay. And ooh, ugh, I hate her hair. And then just as the announcer is saying, and the winner is, we're saying, we're hungry. And the winner is Western egg sandwiches. <laughs> awesome. We'll go to uh, Mayra next. Oops, uh, I lost Mayra. Hi, I'm right here. Can you see me? You know what? You lowered your hand, I think, and then I lost you. Can you raise it again? There we go. Hi. Okay, sorry. I thought I was supposed there to there we go. Yeah. lower my hand. <laughs> All right. So I am so grateful for this exercise because just like you, I grew up in Mexico and my abuelita is 100 years old. Um, wow. And so this brought a lot of memories. Thank you for doing this. When I thought of TV, <laughs> when I thought of TV, I was like, wait a minute. Luckily, grandma was not on TV a lot when we were around. It was mostly because it was all about food, as you can understand. And it revolved around that. So I do know that um, she used to get upset, actually, if my tia and I were watching TV when she was cooking because she just wanted all of us, her grandkids and all of us to go to the kitchen instead of being in the room. So um, I did draw her house. I know it's a bit on the tiny side, but <laughs> like, I think that La Cocina de la Abuela, right? So I remember there was a big patio and here it is. Um, there's a lot of plants, there's bird cages. Here's her kitchen and this is, you know, part of the patio. And then here she is, you know, um, calling us and being like, hey, you know, uh, you know, she's asking my aunt if she's done cleaning and that food's going to be ready soon. And yes, I wrote all this in Spanish, you know. Yola, ya terminaste de limpiar el patio. <laughs> and then, um, you know, here's my, my tia Yola and this is me and we're watching TV. Most likely it was soccer because we were big soccer fans <laughs> up to this day. So, yeah, the, the soccer uh, was was happening but you know my my aunt just going yeah you know I did already you know everything's clean don't worry but then here comes me with my cousins also uh just you know playing some music I remember that for some reason I remember that I used to move from one room to the other and just either dance and then come back and watch tv so I was moving around that and then here comes my grandma going, a comer todos, ya venganse. There she is, you know? So she's coming <laughs> for all to come and, and gather. And because it was also on Sundays when we used to meet at her house, um, it was my aunts and uncles and just many of us cousins were together. So final um, picture here is all of us just gathered. And I just remember, honestly, um, just the fact that we were together and just passing each other's food, right? So I have an uncle here going, pásame la salsa, or, ah, que rico está esto. And it could have been just honestly beans and cheese, but that was the, the best. To this day, that's <laughs> my favorite. You know, los frijolitos y el queso y la salsa. So I just remember just all of us around that big kitchen table, just asking each other, you know, pásame la Coca-Cola and things like that. So this was a beautiful exercise. Thank you for this prompt. I, I really enjoyed it. It took me okay. back to the best days ever. <laughs> oh, Thank great. You, I'm, so, I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That was amazing. Thank you. Great. We'll go to Mishka now. All right. So mine is the um, kind of inverse of your experience. That's not me, is it? No. Okay. Um, so mine takes place in a musty hotel room um, in Waikiki. My dad left to go get food and my brother turned to the TV. Um, and that's me trying to study on the hotel bed. And my brother was right in front of the TV and he found the porn station. And oh then no. Excited, he said, I can watch for free. And he was a metalhead. So I tried to draw his um shaggy hair and his iron maiden shirt and then what happened for the next two hours i don't know why it took my dad so long to get food but he kept watching they cut you off after about 10 seconds so he would watch like 10 seconds of porn and then it would go beep and then another like 20 seconds and then beep 
Oh and my then I, <laughs> it was terrible. I wish I had your abuelita there, but uh, <laughs> I kept yelling at him, stop it. And then I tried to go to sleep. The end. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thank you. I love the use of color also in, in that comic. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go to David next. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Um, my, um, my story is about watching TV kind of long ago. I uh, grew up in Idaho, in a small town, and we had the first TV in our neighborhood. However, there was no TV station. All we got was snow. But we watched snow for months. Our mother said, you're crazy wow. just watching snow. Wow. But then one day, all of a sudden, we got St. Louis television, a bounce. And it was amazing. And so my father said, see, you never know. He believed in technology. So for a few <laughs> minutes, we actually had television. And the kids, I have to do more on the drawing, obviously. We talked about that for months. We actually got television. That's my story. Wow, that's great. <laughs> awesome. OK, we'll go to Jackie next. Um, there we go. Oh, you might be muted, Jackie. I'll unmute myself. Uh, this was. Um, we every Sunday night we'd go over to my grandparents' house, and um, we'd watch. Um, my dad watched football. Um, I didn't know until many years later the reason he got so pissed off about these football games is because he had money on the games. I just thought he really was into football. But this is my grandparents' house, and here is my brother and me and it's me stuffing my face with that Pepperidge farm kind of frozen cake and uh here's my dad swearing at the television <laughs> and here's the, that little black and white I remember back in the analog days when you had the antennas and uh the buttons you had to turn to uh make the channels go and the, and it's the, the eagles basically getting their butts kicked by the giants and me saying, Daddy, how much longer is the football game? I want to watch Disney. And Dad's like, just a few more minutes. And in case you can't, he, here he is crouched angrily in front of the TV. And in case you can't see it, that's a money bag with wings like fly, flying away. <laughs> He's kind of picturing that. So that was, uh, didn't get my grandparents in there like I hope, but I think I got my point across. So but thank you. This was a great exercise. Thank you. That was that was great. Awesome. We'll go to Michael now. Michael, there we go. Oh, hi everybody. I guess I guess uh, my story has too much dialogue, and it's it's kind of like um, uh, who's on first thing. So here's my mom and I on the couch, and I'm saying, "What's this show called?" And my mom is saying, "That girl," but I hear um, "Bat Girl." She says, "Yeah." Um, but it's Marlo Thomas, and uh, it's it's that girl. She's saying "Oh Donald," and there's this laugh track. <laughs> and I'm like, where, "Where's all that laughing coming from?" And Mom says, "That's the the laugh track. This is a sitcom." And I'm saying, uh, "Don't they hear it? Who are these people anyway? Where's Barbara Gordon?" <laughs> and Mom is saying, "Who's Barbara Gordon? The hero of the show is Anne Marie. That's her boyfriend, Donald." No, no. Barbara Gordon is Batgirl. I don't know if she's dating Batman or not. It's left unclear. <laughs> and that's, that's, as, that's as far as I got. Oh, it. that's calling great. It, calling it that Batgirl. That Batgirl. <laughs> Thank you. Nice, Thank nice you. drawing style. All right, we'll go to, to Namita next. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Um, it's a little bit subdued. Um, I there no plot, no dialogue. This was just kind of one night in Bombay when I uh, lived with my uh, grandmother, great uncle, and great aunt. So like, um, and it's just kind of a scene. The establishing shot is the it's like a really wide living room. My grandmother and great aunt sit on the sofa watching the TV. I'm sitting with them. My great uncle is on the dining table. Um, 
and this was their nightly ritual um, for like late night primetime soap opera about a child bride that was famous at the time. Um, so the, the, the next panels are just kind of a clo close ups of those people. So it was my grandmother and great aunt on the sofa, just completely transfixed on the TV show. The TV show really blasting, re like up high volume. Um, my great uncle on the dining table, reading the paper, kind of bored, sitting quietly. Me with the book, kind of disturbed by the show and looking at them. And then like lights out, good night. Um, so just a, a snapshot of the night. I'm gonna kind of do this over with color, but I really liked the exercise. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I had a Kathy listed, but I don't see Kathy. <clears throat> I'm uh, good. I'm gonna oh, pass. Okay, so we'll go to ND. ND will have to come on video um, in order to. Yeah. Sorry, hi. Um, there you are still? Yeah. Oh, great. Your, your book. I didn't, I didn't finish planning it though. Um, sorry, my daughter was drawing today as well. It's the last time. It's and um, I mean, no, sorry, one, one second. So they're watching Inuyasha um, comic, I think it's right. And this is, uh, this is our cat and this is her watching the show. Um, and then the cat uh, leaves and what are they saying? Um, uh, the person on the screen says, don't go. And I'm saying, uh, I'm slumped over on a chair. And they're saying, you idiot. And she is, she's saying, you idiot at the screen. And um, someone's saying, on the screen saying, don't go. Like they're falling in love. And, I don't know, it's, it's their show. Um, and uh, then they want to watch the next episode. So it's the next one. So that, that was a comics jam with you and your daughter? Yeah. Um, and this one is fairly similar. I'll show it briefly. I'm sorry for taking so much of the time. Um, what show are you watching here? Oh, we forget, I forget. Okay, so it's some love scene in a show and they're with their cousins and, and uh, they're watching a scene and the cousins, they, they, ooh, they get squeamish because they got a kiss or something like that, or I love you. And they keep pausing it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> the pausing continues nice. and the pausing continues. <laughs> oh, it was, it was, it was yeah, us, I guess. We were teasing. So I, I'm, I guess, sort of famous for not following directions. So this is, I just do a, a basic sketch. Uh, this is not a family member at all. So um, thank you. It was a great exercise. I, I did enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. And we can go to Rara now. I see that in the chat. Uh, it's been auto-corrected. But Rara, if you can come on video, we'll pull you up. There we go. Hi. Hi. So uh, I did a comic about my mom and I. Uh, she is the one who inculcated into cinema and comics. So every uh, long back, um, we had DD Metro, which would, uh, they, they would screen English films. I live in India, right now it's 6.30 in the morning. Oh my so, God. Uh, <laughs> so um, we, we had this uh, every Friday night, a uh, late night was English cinema. Uh, and that day it was Cronenberg's uh, Fly. And mom loved cinema and she loved watching it with me. Although she didn't have any kind of censoring this, she would be like, if you want to, you can close your eyes if you're scared, that kind. So it starts with my mom calling me. So I tried doing it bilingual because I speak Malayalam. So she's calling me, Amu is my pet name. And uh, she's like, wake up, it's time. So I wake up, my dad is always fast asleep. He cannot watch anything. So that was our old crown television, very old. <laughs> uh, so here like we both are holding on to each other and she keeps saying if you're scared you can close your eyes <laughs> that's so sweet oh my gosh and I love that you're able to, do, to get some ink washes in there as well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever little memory I had of the frame because when you're young it's it just stays in your head yeah like thank you for this exercise because it, it just opened up a lot of room for so many television related uh, stories 
I was confused which one to go for, but I went for this. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. We'll go to Cheryl next. Um, here we go. Rara, that was so lovely. I want to find you on Instagram. Um, I drew my childhood house. Oh, it's hard on my phone. Um, and then me programming my TV. And then uh, the, I'm like looking at the clock because my mom has a show that starts at like 11 p.m. And it's some kind of Filipino show with uh, lots of crying and and la and uh, <laughs> it's like a soap opera. And I have to switch the tapes because hers is going to go and then mine's going to go. And one night I go to do it and she turns the TV on and the volume is on low and she's watching it. And I don't think she can hear anything. And I'm worried she can if she doesn't know what South Park is or does she know what South Park is? And there's so much cursing and swearing. And then she never asked me about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, we'll go to Susanna. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, might be muted. Susanna, you're muted. There I am. Can you hear me now? Okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to watercolor this later, but this is my Bubby. And I'm remembering the last um, portrait that we had taken together. Um, Bubby was in late phase of Alzheimer's at the time. And we were in this portrait uh, cheek to cheek. And Bubby was saying, 45 minutes ago, I was 40 years younger. And she was just really confused during the whole portrait session. And um, it was kind of a, a, a picture on the wall. And I sort of imagined that picture being there with the TV in Bubby's um, living room. And it had these plastic fruits on top. And she, she would always watch MASH. And she was kind of like this, um, she, she, she knew every, every episode, all the characters. And um, she had this television, like one of those huge 1960s televisions that was on the floor. And this was like, she had it through the 70s and 80s. And I thought it was such a fancy television. At the time, I, I didn't realize that it just meant that she hadn't updated her television since, you know, like they had better ones. But I just knew there was a fancy control box. It was kind of by these curtain looking things and that we weren't allowed to open the curtain looking things to change the dials. And then there was this kind of bordello uh, chandelier next to the TV. B bordello like uh, it had these um, fauceted crystals and I would always try and take, take the crystals apart. It was so exciting to, to um, have them. They would make rainbow prisms on the wall. And, um, and I also, like when I was really little, I, I actually liked to chew on them. And I was also fascinated with the um, plastic fruit bowl uh, on top of the television. That was actually something else I tried to chew on. And I remember being disappointed once that there was real fruit in it instead of fake fruit. Because I <laughs> enjoyed playing with plastic fruit so much. That was as far as I got. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Thanks, Susanna. We'll go to I later. remember those TVs. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I hope you can see this. I did it in pencil. I, um, and as I did this, I thought, was it me or was it was I, was I told this? But here's our house. It's in the evening after dinner. And my uh, grandfather, who lived with us for a while and was a World War I veteran, was watching. We were all watching TV. And my brothers were there and my dad. And we were watching Torah, Torah, Torah. And so here's uh, the Japanese pilots getting ready to leave. And then they take off and they are like flying in the air, you know, all this communication. And then, um, so we're watching and he, my grandfather was so intent in this. He thought it was fascinating. You know, of course, you know, they, they get sort of the bombing Pearl Harbor and then they're, they're victorious here. And so then he says, uh, he, he says, isn't it amazing? Is it amazing that they had the foresight to film this as they attacked us? And we all just sat there going, what? <laughs> and the problem yeah. was is that we had a black and white television for years. And my dad would never upgrade it because uh, it was 
that we would joke that it wasn't attached to his boat. And so we had this, this black and white, so it looked like newsreel. And it was just, it was kind of funny. I don't remember if we explained it to him or if we just let it go. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Amazing. Okay, we'll go to Tomcat after that. Um, we'll probably finish up unless Susan Marks or, or uh, Marlene want to come in. All right. And Tomcat, you're muted too. So gotcha. there All we right. go. Okay, this is about my grandmother. She was uh, hardcore. And I did unmute myself. I still got this freaking error message going. Okay. And um, here's uh, my grandmother, grandfather sitting outside. They're not in, not the pop, New Jersey. And they are drinking, as usual. And then I'm, we're in the kitchen, me and my little sister, and there's a big crash sound. Nani comes in with her big-ass wooden spoon that she beats people with, looks at us, and the, wind, the, the glass that's on top of the the for show kitchen table was cracked so she we run down the stairs and we sit we plop down in where we can actually stay without all the plastic on the furniture and the glass on the tables and plop down and watch cat and kangaroo for the rest of the vacation <laughs> so that's what we do to stay out of trouble <laughs> so, thank you all right that's what we like to be a kid in new jersey <laughs> all right it looks like we got one more i want to mention if you haven't seen the chat um susan is hosting uh, an after party on a different zoom channel so grab that link in the chat um we'll go to paulo although paulo you'll have to go to video before we can um <clears throat> spotlight you um in order for, order for that to work um can i share my screen um because I did it, on, I'm on the iPad, and uh, that's that's how I did it. Yeah, that takes a minute. Hang on a second. Okay. Can you can you come on video first, and then we'll set you up with that to do that? I think it takes. Sure. So I start the video. Um. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So let let me replace. Um. And this will be the last one, Dave. I want to thank you again. Let's see. Yeah, thank you. This was great. Um, okay. All right, uh, Paulo, you should be okay. Okay. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Nope. Or do I need to do I need to press something? I don't know. <laughs> minimize virtual background. Hmm. Switch camera. Hmm. Maybe start video. I'm on video, but uh, I wanted to share the screen. <laughs> share screen. Is there? Sh I don't have a share screen button on here. Maybe I can. It's down by chat. It's if a this green is an button. iPad. I think it's something like start <clears throat> broadcast. Are you Control on? Back the it might have share content at the top right. Um, I don't have that. It just says me meeting, maybe meeting settings. It's always are this guy. Are you on Eventbrite or are you on Zoom? Uh, I'm on Zoom. Oh, there it is. I found it. Share screen. <laughs> screen. Here we go. Uh, start broadcast. Can you guys see? Nope. Oh. It went to your icon. It's these kinds of uh, these kinds of uh, troubles. I always wonder why they don't have them in Star Trek when they're on the bridge and they're like, "Do this, do that." And I'm like, "There we go. We're seeing something, um, Paulo." But it says, uh, "No, now when you're recording." Oh, we have. Oh, oh we saw. There something. we go. We yep. Saw Almost. There was See some. Uh... Pull that window up. You don't want to broadcast. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, it said it said it wouldn't allow me to broadcast because it's recording. 
Do you want to just hold hold your iPad up to the screen? Well, about yeah, it's on the iPad itself, so I I can't I can't point the camera to the screen. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe bring it to Susan's after party. I'll post that link again in the chat. Um, okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I've, I've never shared the screen before. So yeah, the tech is hard. Um, I'm going to spotlight Dave and so we can get a chance to thank him, but also so he can um, show, uh, show us that book again so we can all run out and get it. Um, okay. I have to look and, at the, let's see. Oh yeah, it's here. Here it is. <laughs> okay. I assume you have it. All right. <laughs> There you go. Yes, Consuelo. Yeah. That, I mean, yeah, that, that was her name, Consuelo. So it's kind of a pun. Uh, it also, Consuelo also means comfort. And so it's like days of comfort. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I, I'm super happy um, with how it came out. And uh, you can find it at the, I think Neil posted a, a link a few times in the chat. Um, so yeah, you can go to the Radiator Comic site. Uh, my website is DaveOrtegaDraws.com, and I'm on Instagram at DaveOrtegaDraws. Um, this was so much fun. I loved seeing everybody's work. Um, you know, I love the way that that exercises like these, like really unearth memories and and allow for us to 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 draw from them in order to create art. So yeah, this was this was great. Thank you, and thank you, Tom. Thank you, Neil, for setting yeah. this up. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Thanks to everybody at Saw and everybody, everybody that uh, came by the workshop. You can say thank you to Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, thank Dave. Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Saw. So much thanks.